hi and welcome back to the channel and this is unfinished business episode two so after the disappointment of not being able to complete rastan in episode one today we're going to go and try out our type now what you're seeing here is probably the most iconic spaceship in shmup history and the reason i say that is because casual gamers know our type you know, Shmup tends to have a hardcore audience over the years, especially now it's not as popular with the mainstream um, developers these days. And you go back though, and R-Type is one that everyone remembers. So R-Type is a 1987 IRM arcade release and it straight away gained huge popularity. It's been ported to practically every system going and little random fact this was actually distributed well the arcade version by Nintendo and it was to the best of my knowledge anyway the last game that Nintendo actually distributed so what's my history with R type now I can't remember if I'm honest if I played it first in the arcade or whether it was the Sega Master System. The first memory I have of the game though is the Sega Master System. Now we was all playing our 8-bit micros at the time whether you had a Commodore, whether you had an Amstrad, whether you had a Spectrum but it was one guy in our class at school that had a Sega Master System and he was doing a little tour. He was going around people's houses at the weekend taking his Master System around and not showing it off he wasn't that kind of guy but he basically just took it round and we was all kind of mesmerized so I remember him coming round bringing Double Dragon Shinobi and R-Type now R-Type I remember we did finish R-Type on the Master System but admittedly he had a cheat code where you were pretty much invincible so I'm not gonna count that now that day will always be in my memory. And the reason being, it convinced me to literally harass my parents every day, probably every hour looking back, to upgrade to a Sega Master System. Now, since the original R-Type was released, it's had many, many sequels, many variations. It's ended up on practically every console going. It's still out today on PlayStation 5, it's been on the PlayStation 1, it's been on the PS2, it's been on the Game Boy, as you can see here from various cover arts that I'm showing you. However, let's have a look at the first version that I remember vividly, which was the Master System. Now remember you're going from an 8-bit micro to something like this. This to me was a miracle. As an 11 year old boy, I'd seen it in the arcade not long after, or maybe before as I said, I can't remember. But this was like arcade perfect to me. Now, of course, we know it wasn't. But as someone at my age, it felt like I had the arcade at home that day. And using a control pad, not something an 11-year-old me was used to. I was used to playing my games on a joystick, the Quick Shot 2. If you're at my age, you'll remember that. It was a totally different experience than I'd ever imagined. Now at the time, I had an Amstrad CPC-464 and I wasn't seeing anything like this. And this excited me greatly. 
How could I go back to the 8-bit micros after playing something like this? I didn't want my friend to leave that day. And when he did, it was with great sadness. Anyway, my 11-year-old mind was totally blown. It wouldn't be too long before I did get my master system in the end. But in the meantime, I wanted more R-Type. So yeah, let's check out the 8-bit micro version, which, although I was excited for, I didn't have the greatest of high hopes. But you know what? This is actually really good. Now looking back at it, R-Type pretty much got good ports on every system it was available for. The home micros were, in all honesty, they didn't get the best uh, arcade ports a lot of the time. And the fact that you would have played this kind of game in the arcade and the beautiful cover art was normally enough to lure us in and make us buy the game. But the real impressive thing here, look at the Spectrum port. It's a Spectrum and when you consider the tech involved here, this is a minor miracle. Now I believe there are some fan versions that have been made since this for the Spectrum that have added music and obviously other kind of improvements uh, since. But this is amazing for its time. Anyway, enough chat. Let's get on with it. I'm going to fire up R-Type Dimensions on the PlayStation 5 and let's see if I can finish this game legit for the first time in my life. Now sure this isn't the original R-Type, but it is the exact same game but obviously kind of remastered for a modern audience. Oh, great start. There is no fundamental differences to this game than the original. It all plays in exactly the same way. So I'm going to count this as the original version. Now, the reason I've used this version is because it was the easiest one to fire up and record with using the PlayStation 5. Um, however, if you guys don't consider this to be legit, I'll fire up my Evercade and I'll try R-Type on that. Please accept this. Please accept this. Please accept this. <laughs> Right, we haven't got off to the greatest of starts, admittedly. But I do anticipate a plenty of death in this game. I'm prepared for it in advance. Now to me and many other casual gamers, the first level on R-Type, especially this boss, is very iconic. And the reason I say that, I think it's because a lot of people really didn't get that much further in this game than this, or at least the second or third levels. And we are off.
Stage one complete. Only seven to go. And boy, what are seven levels there going to be if I do manage to make it? Now, one of the good things about R-Type, I absolutely love the weapon variation that you get in this game. And the placements of the weapons, as and when you can collect them, it's really convenient. RM, when developing this game, clearly knew where to put the weapons for whatever situation you potentially were going to face. So look at this here, for example, these kind of zigzaggy um, bullets that I'm shooting here. Clearly designed to hit these scorpions before or just after they emerge from out of the screen. Woe betide, you die and you lose them weapons though, you're facing an uphill battle. Right, there is a trick to this. You just fire the orb and it should land. Well, hello? The orb is supposed to... Oh, come on. The orb should land where the heart is and uh, or the eye of the heart, really. And you should be able to just shoot it that way. It's not quite working out that way for me at the moment. Down. No, not back to me. It's like a disobedient dog. And there's me thinking I found a comfy little spot to compensate for my um, lack of orb direction. Lack of orb direction. Not a sentence I anticipated using today. Well, I definitely should have got a knife and fork with me today because I made a meal out of that. There is such an easy way of beating that boss, but I just neglected it. Now, I remember this level really well. Now, I don't remember, though, this many bullets coming at me this early in the level. This is something I used to be able to quite comfortably navigate but it really does seem to be a lot more bullets being flung at me than I, I remember playing the original and it didn't feel as intimidating as this ah. I'm not too fast like I said I'm anticipating plenty of death I just didn't think it would start this quickly into the game. Up to level 3 used to be really easy for me. I mean, I remember having this on the PlayStation 1. Who remembers the old uh, chipped copied discs? I think I had it that way. And um, I could get to level 4 no problem on one life back in the day. Clearly not the case on R-Type Dimensions. I've already spent the equivalent of probably about four or five pounds, I think, if you were playing something like this in the arcade. Although I'm sure, in fact I'm certain, my old man reflexes are not helping me out much here whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. I'm not blaming the game at all, but... I'm really finding a lack of orb direction. It's going to be my new motto now. Lack of orb direction. Right, level four, and I absolutely detest this level. Things come flying at you thick and fast, and these little dots that you've got to shoot through in order to get through, 
Yeah, they're a pain. My orb doesn't seem to be helping me out much. That's the whole purpose of me having you. Ah, uh, yes. Death becomes me. As of the fourth level, there's going to be plenty and plenty of death. It started already, and I don't think it's going to let up on me. I should be just firing the orb and it goes... Oh, oh. Too little, too late. I'm going to put that down to um, Game Rust. I completely forgot. Shoot the orb through and it will guide you through the path. Um, yeah, totally my fault. I'm not going to blame the orb on this occasion. Now this sucks, I'm trying to fight this guy and I've got these stupid little dots as well. Yulbert's just doing his own thing. Oh, come on! Now this is a boss that generally I can beat quite easily. It doesn't seem to be that way today. Not this time. Oh, all right. Spoke too soon. Right, one down, two to go. And there's me trying to make the most of those few seconds of invincibility. Now look, the orb helped me in no way, shape or form there. I shot him off and he just decided to skip it. <laughs> now I forgot about this, but R-Type is one of the only games I've ever played where the longer you survive with the boss, eventually you end up winning the fight regardless. So yeah, not the way I wanted to do it, but I'm on the next level, level five anyway. Level 5 was never this busy. Was it? Where did all them lasers come from? Oh! Cheap shot from behind. And another one. Yeah, that was my own fault. I don't know why, but I don't remember level 5 to be this chaotic. And it's not really that chaotic when it comes to shmups. But I just... I wasn't prepared. Clearly. It's going to be a rocky road ahead. <laughs> I'm here all week.
Now I know once you get past these layers of rocks that the ship lies underneath there, so you've got to get to that point. But it doesn't seem like I'm actually killing any of these rocks at any point here, and I'm shooting like crazy. To be honest, at this point, I've totally given up on the orb. He's his own guy. Ah, uh, second boss that I've had to bore to death. Again, not the way I intended to do it, but I'm going to take it. I've never finished this game before, so yeah, I'm taking it. Now, I'm prepped for this level. Even though this looks chaotic, it is a bit mad. I know this one was genuinely chaotic on the original. That was sly. That just came out of the blue. I didn't see nothing coming towards me. Ah, <laughs> I've done so well. You absolute swine. Get out of here. Right, this is, in my opinion, and I'm sure many will agree, this level boss is heavily inspired by a scene from the original Star Wars film. It's where they get um, stuck in the uh, trash compactor, I believe. And again, I don't recall things falling out of the sky at such a fast pace in the original. Am I wrong? <laughs> Look how fast they're going! <laughs> ah! Am I even supposed to get to that? It's, that's it. I think I've got him now. Well, a return to form after boring the final two bosses, or the last two bosses rather, at least I've been able to uh, finally kill one. Now, another level that's pretty chaotic, and uh, yeah, there's going to be plenty of deaths here. I'm under no illusion. But I am really close to finishing this game for the first time, legitimately, in my life. So I will soldier on. Oh, these big block things are tiresome. Just leave me alone. I don't think I've killed one yet, or even made a dent. Finally managed to get the all back to me. It's like he was on annual leave. Now look, how am I supposed to hit the red part and blow them up when it's it's backwards, it's not facing me. This is taking liberties with me now. The game is laughing at me. Statistically, this must be the worst level I've played so far. Um, I've died so often in this. I'm getting smashed up all over the place. Look, I've got no idea what's going on. I'm going to have to bore this boss to death. 
make them go away. I can't see a way through it at the moment. By the power of Fordham, the boss has vacated. Right, level eight, it's the final level. Let's get this one done. Let's finish this business. If I recall correctly, this is quite a short level before you get to the final boss. Uh, judging by playthroughs and obviously my time playing the Master System game back in the day with the invincibility cheat on. Right, you budget ass Xenomorph. It's time to finish this. <laughs> I'm trying to go through. <laughs> I'm that desperate to finish this game. I just want to fly through him and hit him. Throw caution to the wind. Ah! Oh. I shall not be denied today. Unfinished business, episode one. That was hard to take with Rastan, but episode two, we're going to do this. Forget the orb. He's done nothing for me in this entire game. Ouch. Oh, these Catherine wheels are doing my head in. Now, I'm determined to actually kill this one. I don't want to bore him. I want to finish the final boss. Time is running out, though. He's going to get bored and walk away from dominating the earth. But it's done! Ha ha ha! Now, I've been playing this game for many years. Like I said, since I was 11 years old. <sighs> and to finish this one is a great weight off my shoulders. Now, where was all these guys when I needed them? My orb was practically useless. You've got all these R9 ships now. You could have been helping me save the galaxy, but no. You'll turn up once the trouble's finished. But thank you guys for watching Unfinished Business Episode 2. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit stressful playing this one, but not as stressful as Rastan, as obviously I managed to actually finish the business on this occasion. So Episode 3 I'm currently working on. It's going to be Castlevania. So I do hope you take the time to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that you'll get notified as and when I'm uploading new content whether that be unfinished business game hunt videos news and views subscribe and you'll get that a lot lots more take care guys see you on the next one